Yo, what's up guys? It's George and today we're doing 10 things I can't live without. Alright, if you've watched me for long enough, then you'll know this is my number one thing I can't live without. Yes, it's just a water bottle, but I love it. It has been everywhere with me, no matter where I've gone, what country I've traveled to, if I go to the gym, this is coming with me every single day. In fact, this exact bottle isn't the original. I've actually lost one exactly like this because it had a tiny bit of water at the airport and they confiscated it from me and I didn't have enough time to go all the way back to security. So I had to throw it away. But the first thing I did when I got back home was buy another one exactly like this. And this is your reminder to stay hydrated. So, mm. whoops, <laughs> a bit too hydrated. Item number two is I can't really show you because I'm using it to film, but my camera, this is just one of my lenses. I only have two lenses, but my first camera was a Fujifilm X-T20 and that was potentially the best investment I've ever made in my life. At the time I was working in Curry's PC World, they're like a tech shop and I bought my camera for dirt cheap. It was like 200 pounds, including a lens. And that's what I started this YouTube channel on. And uh, now I'm using a, a Sony camera with a couple different lenses, but yeah, it's kind of my bread and butter and uh, I can't live without it because without it, how am I going to make content? All right, so the next one is going to be my 90% lint dark chocolate. This is my favorite chocolate. Like I'm a big fan of chocolate in general, but if you had to ask me one chocolate, it's going to be this one. I got into this kind of chocolate when I started like doing low carb diets back in the day. Nowadays, I don't really do low carb anymore, um, sometimes on rotation, but uh, I still love this chocolate and I always have this in my fridge. And yes, I am that weirdo who puts chocolate in the fridge, but I just prefer it. It's just better. It tastes better when it's in the fridge. So can you judge me? No. So as a lot of you guys know, I am a hair guy, right? Like on YouTube, I've made a lot of content to do with hair. And so one of my essentials is my favorite hair brand, Blue Man. I use the hell out of these products. Literally like all of these are almost empty and I haven't even had them for that long. So <laughs> just to prove how much I use these, I think my ultimate staple that I've had at all hair stages and I've used the hell out of is the cloud control oil. Right now, I've got a little bit of uh, the texture spray and a little bit of this clay in, but I'm kind of thinking about growing it out a little bit again. So I don't know, I don't want to have too much in my hair, but it's going to be proofy as hell. It's kind of in that awkward stage right now. But yeah, Blue Man is the go-to hair product company and I would definitely recommend them to you guys. I'm so happy they're sponsoring this video. If you're interested in checking them out, please head over to their website at www.blueman.com and use code GEORGE for 10% off at checkout. Now, I haven't really talked about mouth hygiene that much in the past, but one thing is for sure. I have tried to get into flossing many times before and I've kind of always struggled. They always say, oh, you have to floss, you have to floss. And I've always wanted to, but it's always been such a pain, either with the strings, which I just have to like get in there or like those plastic ones that just honestly don't work very well for me. Until my dentist recommended me these flosses. These oral B, these specific ones, like I've tried other ones, not the same. This specific one is perfect. It works so well. I've never flossed as much as I do today. I literally floss every day now. You can use them like two, three times each. The only downside is it is plastic and you're gonna be throwing away a lot of plastic, but as far as hygiene goes, I would 100% recommend these flosses. They're just essential and I love them. <laughs> Don't know how I'm so passionate about flosses, but they're really good. This next one, I'm kind of a little bit like, I wasn't sure if I wanted to show you guys. You know how everyone has their signature smell, right? I'm a big fan of fragrances and I have a lot of them, but this is my signature smell. So if you guys steal the smell, like, fair enough. I don't blame you. It's, it's exquisite, right? Terre d'Hermes, specifically the Parfum version. I love this smell. It is like, this is my smell. Like, I'm just, oh, beautiful. As you can tell, I've already almost finished this one. Uh, I go through these a lot as well because I use this the most. And um, 
people have started recognizing this as my smell. The thing I love about this as well is that I don't know anyone who wears this. I don't know anyone who talks about this. I, I don't know, I feel like it's like a hidden gem. It's my, it's my smell, you know? And soon, probably you'll smell too if you're gonna try it out, but I love it. And a uh, little secret. Every girl that smelt it has complimented me on it. I didn't think it was gonna be this much of a compliment beast, but I love it. So, Der Dermes, essential. Alright. Okay, the next essential is my protein. Oh, and they kind of come as a combo, creatine and protein. Now, I have no attachment to this exact protein. I just always get protein isolate and creatine monohydrate, same story, no specific reason for these ones. But I try to stay fit and, um, you know, uh, the protein is kind of an essential. I do focus more on food, but I have one of these every single day. So I would say I count this as an essential. All right, the next one is kind of cheating because it's kind of just bundling a bunch of different ones together, but entertainment, right? Everyone has to stay entertained. So here's a little selection of things that I love, although, I don't really use my gaming stuff that much anymore. So I do have a Switch and a PS5, but I never play it. I left it at my parents' house and I don't live there anymore, but I still keep up with like gaming stuff just because I grew up with games and I, I love them. I just never play them, you know? Um, so yeah, when I do get a chance, I love, you know, picking up a PS5 controller. I'm so excited for Tears of the Kingdom, the new Zelda game. Don't know if I'll get a chance to play it, but, gaming um, equally music I have the AirPods Pro and these old Sony 1000 XM3s which have been with me for a long time I love music I have a billion different Spotify playlists in fact if you guys want to link me some Spotify playlists I would totally love to check them out um, because I'm always looking for new music, new stuff to listen to. And then reading. Right now I'm reading Jaws. It's literally about like tongue posture and like facial development. Super, super, super interesting book. I think I'm gonna make a video about this. Um, yeah, I'm pretty far into it, but I always read nonfiction just because I'm that guy. I, I don't really, I don't know. I, I don't really like reading fiction too much, even though I do see the value in it. I prefer nonfiction, and uh, yeah, so far, I would definitely recommend this book if you're interested in this kind of stuff. But yeah, that's kind of my entertainment stuff. I don't usually really watch Netflix or anything like that. I'm more, if I'm gonna do any media, it's gonna be video games or music or books. Next up, you guys have probably seen this in some of my videos as well, the silk pillowcase. Now, especially when I had long hair, um, I would use the hell out of this. There's so many benefits. First of all, it doesn't rip out your hairs in your sleep because it's not like abrasive cotton. Uh, secondly, it's just comfortable. It's just nice and smooth in your face. And thirdly, the temperature, it keeps you cool. I don't know, like I am one of those people who's always overheating. And yeah, so a silk pillowcase has been a staple for me for ages and I haven't gone back. I really like it. It doesn't go with any of my uh, bed sheets or anything but I can't get rid of it. It's just too much of a staple for me. And some jewelry, but not any jewelry. I do have a lot of random jewelry, but this jewelry is a lot more special for me. You've got the ring. And it's like a little signet ring. You've got this uh, bracelet, which I'll put on really quick. You've got the bracelet and you've got this golden chain, which I'll put on for the video's sake. And uh, these bits of jewelry were actually given to me by my father. He gave them to me um, when I graduated and they used to be his from when he was about my age. So they're kind of like family heirlooms. Um, yeah, I don't know how valuable they are. I know they're real gold, but I don't know. They're just meaningful to me and I wear them quite a lot because I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of family. So yeah, those are my 10 essential items and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, maybe I'll make another one of these in a few years or something. Maybe something's changed up in my life until then. Um, but yeah, let me know what your 10 essentials are in the comments, I would love to see that. Thank you guys for watching and oh, peace.
Wait, wait, Alexa, flip a coin. Tails. Tails, we're doing English breakfast. Okay, we'll hit some nice one. Uh... Beatrice, to be specific in this video. This is Matt's coach, Beatrice.